Well, how do there, people in the viewerverse? Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and yes, I've got some news for you. No, I'm not over on my news desk, because most of this news is predominantly over on the Twitter space. So, Sean Murray has tweeted out a brain emoji. It's a little bit small on the screen there. There's not much I can do about that, I don't think. Clicking it does nothing, people, but it's a brain emoji. Trust me, a big brain emoji. It's a small brain emoji on there, though, Steve, isn't it? Let's see if we can zoom in a bit. Let's take it. Oh, look, we've made it bigger people 175 percent bigger there you go it's a brain emoji anyways so what does this brain emoji mean is exactly what we're going to be diving into inside of this video people inside the view of us so yeah it is going to be rather speculation heavy but that's what i like to do and uh, yeah great fun anyway let's jump on over onto this tab here and you can see here sean murray in the past has said expeditions have been super popular we know there are a ton of people playing right now and expeditions are where a lot of the community spend their time we never release expeditions instead of updates but rather as well as planned updates now I retweeted this with a, with a little bit of a comment on it. Um, I don't know whether I can see it by clicking that one. What about this one? Did I quote it and tweet it? Yes, I did. I put, does the Apple port count, count as a planned update? Unsure. We can see expedition icons in the game files, though, and kind of think seeing a brain emoji means content plus expedition. But what do you all think? I've only had one comment on it so far. I've only just retweeted this out there, people, from yesteryear. But yeah, oh and i don't actually see the actual comment on there I don't think. oh here we go space explorers there we go and it says here the mac version of no man's sky is available through steam today and coming to apple mac store shortly expect an upcoming announcement about our next update soon so it is a different update completely different update people i missed that thank you very much there space explorer you're awesome. Am I already following you, Space Explorer? I probably am. No, I'm not. You know what? You're getting a follow for that little titbit. Thank you very much. Cheers, Space Explorer. You rock. Nice one. Okay, next tab. So I did have some thoughts and feelings when I saw this brain emoji before I went to sleep last night because this emoji popped at half past 11 UK time and I was tired. So I didn't stay up to make a video. But what I did do is I put out a poll. So hopefully I can interact with it this morning and bring you said results because, you know, the community are more often right than not. So here we go. Sean Murray just dropped another bra uh, emoji. It's a brain. What do you think this means for No Man's Sky? Not seeing what you're thinking add a comment have i got to zoom in on this one as well yes it has 170 150 percent there we go crucible expedition making a robot so inside of the game files we know that the new expedition is going to be called crucible now a crucible is like a smelting pot it's where you sort of forge something and inside of the actual files we've seen a lot of icons and we've seen a lot of sort of things that allude to we might be building our own sentinel phage one of the sentinel pilots so you are going to be in integrating a soul into that little chappy and also perhaps a brain. So almost Frankenstein something together, a bit of mad science. Now, if you was going to put something out there for mad science, a brain could be it, couldn't it? And, you know, and 34% of people are hitting that one up as being the most likely and most plausible and possible. So 34% think it's going to be the Crucible Expedition making a robot. But as we just ascertained before, we might be getting an update as well as an expedition so is the brain emoji for the expedition or is it for an update mm. now if it was to be for an update perhaps it's going to be around the hive mind and the void mother and infestation inside of the game when you go and speak to one of these buggered up sort of sentinel phage pilot things and there's bits of them everywhere when you interact with them they give you some digital code and when well analog zeros and ones basically and when you actually convert it it says void mother now when you go up to the actual station core in the back of a station and you interact with that you can put in byproducts of the corrupted sentinels and it gives you another string of those zeros and ones and when you convert that one it says 
I see her. So I see her, the void mother, two sort of things inside of games. The other day we had some weird, really weird sounds that were found as well. And when you convert those, it says she sees through their eyes, which we'll get onto in a bit. I've got another poll around whose eyes does she see through. And when you, com you compare that poll to this poll, it might give another indication of what might be coming into verse, again, based on what the community feels. Okay, so the hive mind is a second in running. Now it could be these two combined. It could be a little bit of lore around this, as well as an expedition on that, and maybe a few bits of content to bring this further into in iteration, you know, is what I'm thinking. I, that's kind of where I am. I think it's going to be an expedition called Crucible. We have a load of lore and perhaps a few things thrown in around this new void mother and evolving story. I've done it in quotations because I know that Sean has put it out there either in patch notes or on his Twitter space. We've added to the evolving story. Anyway, station core is like a mind. So the station core at the back of the stations, which I just mentioned earlier, has now given some zeros and ones and also all this expanding story. So some people have hit that up. 17% think it might have something to do with the station cores, considering that there were also station exteriors found inside the game files a little while ago, station core, um, station outer holes B. But now they've been removed is very curious. Are they being worked on a little bit more before they're going to come out into the community space? It might have been an accident that they left those ones in. Okay, more organic things like living freighters, maybe. Well, we know that Ariadne went missing into the void and she went aboard a dark freighter. Now, from the void, we've also had living ships and living sort of frigates. So why not, if it is a dark freighter, why not be a dark living freighter? After all, we've got the ships, we've got the frigates. The only thing we don't got is freighters. So it kind of would make sense. That'd be freaking terrifying, a giant living vessel of that sort of size. Better NPC interactions and an overhaul to AI. Now, there's been quite a lot of rumours out there. People that know people that work at Hello Games that suggest that Hello Games are working on overhauling um, AI for NPCs. I don't know whether that means to for mission giving or what. Now, a lot of people here have actually sounded off with different sorts of comments. I'm just going to scroll. I'm not going to read any out or stop on any in particular. I'm just going to be scrolling rather slowly so you can read them to see if there's anything there that takes your fancy. Or if you want to chime in yourself, you can jump on over and take part in this yourself. But a lot of them I've hit like to. Some I've even hit up replies to and things like that. But I kind of feel that there's going to be an addition to the void law. But I also think there's going to be some sort of other mention towards the Void Mother, some well, story, more narrative. I think more narratives going to come into play. Now, in the past, I know Sean Murray has actually used the brain for narrative inside of the little lists that he does on pinned comments and things, uh, pinned updates. But um, we can only but wait and see. Anyway, next tab. So this is the other poll that I've done. She sees through their eyes. But whose eyes is she alluding to? So I put in fallen travellers, you know, the little guys that you see on the stations are all shimmery, they look like little travellers, and sometimes you have to go down to their grave and get the glyph and all that sort of shenanigans, where they all say some pretty weird freaking stuff. Now, I've done a playlist on the travellers' lore. If you haven't seen the travellers' lore and you want to, because they come up with some weird stuff like multi-swords, not multi-tools, multi-swords, yes, multi-swords. Anyway, I'll put the link up there, hit that up for the travellers' lore. It's pretty darn sweet. Anyway, so those are the, it, maybe we might see corrupted travellers. I mean, when you talk to them now, they seem pretty corrupted. Some of them talk about drinking of the water and all sorts of other stuff, which we know is coated in freaking nanites from Corvax. Anyway, station cores. So again, inside the stations, the station core is now throwing out those zeros and ones. It could be that the Void Mother's using them to sort of communicate out a little. Yeah, I see her which I, I don't know whether that's the sentinels trying to warn her that she's coming or what but anyway station cores that's been given 39 percent so i think a lot of people are expecting something around station update of some kind considering that we've had the station overrides now burning a hole in our pockets for over two years i can see freaking why yeah so 39 percent stations are, are very likely 
in women inside the community space as a point that we need to see some sort of update happen. Sentinel pilots, considering that we're building a Sentinel phage or pilot, whatever you want to call it, inside of this crucible expedition, 28% have hit that up. Again, very likely. These two things are very likely. And yeah, I haven't got anything in here about the Void Mother because it's her eyes, but well, it's her ability to see through eyes. So anyway, living ships, living ships. We actually had to harvest souls to make our living ships from fallen travelers so kind of those two might be sort of slightly related in a roundabout way but is she using these void ships from the void to spy on real space are they spy ships reconnaissance reconnaissance people for the void mother they could be but only 12 percent have hit that up as a possible one of the races now, I put one of the races just to cover all bases, but I kind of think because the Corvax and Corvax Prime got destroyed, and that was the birth of the Void Mother, when a load of Corvax sort of nanites in blood sort of you know, changed the way the Gek go about doing things, I kind of think perhaps the Corvax is quite a likely point that maybe she could use them to see through their convergence like a hive mind of sorts people inside the viewerverse which is another thing that i want to touch on because there is some peculiar art done by Bo lam that actually shows almost like a hive mind happening in some of his artwork which i'll get to in a moment anyways again people have been sounding off on here i've got quite a fair few comments around there around what they think it might be and what that i mean one of the comments that i really liked was over on twitter by ray reynolds who said perhaps it's ariadne's eyes because she's a doppelganger she's not the real ariadne and she's sitting there bold as brass in the freaking station right now perhaps it's seen through her eyes people in the view of us anyway let me go find this bow lamb artwork and then i'll come back to you people i'll be right back well in here we are over on bow lamb's page and he's a freaking awesome artist for hello games studio i guess he is if i scroll on down a little it doesn't take long before you come across this picture here that says disconnected now if i click it and make it a little larger so you can see what's going on i mean you've probably seen this artwork before and i've spliced this and placed it into the actual um uh, space stations underneath a space station core but when you look at this it's pretty darn awesome but look at the back of the head of this guy it's opened up it's like this and it looks like there's some sort of brain or orb coming out the back of his head and you see these vr goggles down here if i just move winamp a little bit these vr goggles when you look at the screen down there it almost looks like no man's sky on the screen now I, I can't say for sure but it's very sort of those sort of colors isn't it you know and look at all these guys in the background they're all wearing vr type headsets all plugged into something like maybe a simulation <laughs> maybe the void mothers programming these chappies and they do look half organic and half sort of metallic and sort of look in keeping with perhaps what we see inside of No Man's Sky. It looks like some sort of dodgy Corvax, doesn't it? Who freaking knows, people? But it's Bo Lam. He works for Hello Games. And, you know, he does a lot of doodles inside of his lunch breaks. And I've, I've wondered in the past whether some of what we're seeing in some of these pictures might be inspiration for whatever their new project is. I mean, it looks like lots of different planets that people are visiting. But it looks more fantasy style. I mean, when you look at the actual characters in this, they're not in spacesuits. They've got freaking backpacks on and all sorts of stuff. So is it going to be space travel or is it going to be portal travel or what? But I I've kind of speculated before in the past that perhaps Hello Games' new ambitious project might be some sort of sci-fi fantasy splurge. So take sort of, I don't know, Lord of the Rings and stick it in space. I mean, this looks like a, a colossal archive, doesn't it? You know, and inside of No Man's Sky, they do say to the actual Atlas, look, the Atlas is failing. We're off to make another simulation. We're going to take everything we've learned from working with the Atlas simulation, the simulation of the 256 universes, whatever, take that, and we're going to work on our next iteration. And the last dying wish of the Atlas is to have a copy of its maker put into the game. And that's where we get Talamon from that's sitting on our shoulder, apparently. But yeah, there's some awesome artwork over here, over on Bolan's um, website. If you want to go and have a look at this i put a link in the video um, description but if you just type in bolam art inside of google this comes up it's on a, a website called art station and yet yeah, there's loads to see here 
and there's lots of food for thought. And to consider that he is, you know, an artist for No Man's Sky. I mean, you can see all of his No Man's Sky art here. I mean, you've all seen these. In fact, I've got postcards in the background with some of these on. But, you know, look at these multi-tools. I would love to see that multi-tool come into the verse. That's nice. And that one. Those two are really cool. And this one here, that would be nice. Tephas could give us that one. It looks very fishy, doesn't it? It really does. But, yeah, some of these, if they did introduce, like, the realm of glass or the void, I mean, these look like void multi-tools, these four up in this top corner maybe even this bone one perhaps even that one as an exotic void multi-tool in fact all of these could be in the void or the realm of glass couldn't they and none of these are inside of iteration really i mean yes we've got alien multi-tools are they as alien looking as that i think not but yeah there's there's all sorts of stuff concept art wise by bolam here for no man's sky and you think hold on we've got a lot of that but it'd be nice to see a bit more of it that guess it would and yeah awesome guy anyway people so that's pretty much all my speculation i honestly would have thought we would have seen the update by now um but we had the actual apple mac port and as we know it wasn't 100 percent bug free so perhaps they had to work on that before they could do anything now one of my earlier speculations is we won't see the update until the community mission reaches like about 90 percent now i'm just going to make myself a little bit larger on screen here and i'm going to hold this up to the old camera so you can see the actual progress bar up there but it's at 88 percent right now people that progress bar so yeah the sales have started emojis have started all the sorts of things that i said will probably happen when this program this progress bar hits about you know 90, 80 to 90 percent or whatever is started happening so i think i've got the prediction on the pretty note on the nose there really people but anyway um yeah it's all sort of kicking off now and it looks like things are happening so hopefully later part of this week we might get to see something people in the view of us still got my mug of tea here it's going quite lovely Yummy. Anyway, peeps, I think I'm going to end off now. I'm going to go and drink the rest of this. But yeah, sound off in the comments. Let us know what you think's happening. I don't think it's going to be too long. Heck, I might even process this video and the update might blink in drop. But I'll still put it out there anyway and we can sort of check it, see if I was close or see if you was close with all those poll results. I mean, after all, I haven't put many of my ideas out there. It's gone by the actual polls, which, yes, I, I made that list out of the most plausible things that I could think of at the time. And you guys have sounded off and confirmed what you feel it might be inside of the verse. So it's an echo chamber of what you're thinking as well as speculation. I know. Heck yes. Until next time. Cheery bye. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.